Welcome to the Dynamo Show. I am your host, James Ert. This is episode 45, where we interview experts, speakers, authors, doing well around the world. Not only those that are putting the oxygen mask on themselves, but also those that are putting the oxygen mask on their community. Mm -hmm. We have some really amazing experts for you today. We are going to start things off with my dear friend, Victoria Lorient Fabish. Yeah. Hi there. Hello, I'm hello, hello. So glad to be here. Thank you. Welcome to the show. I am Thank such you. a fan. Oh, and I can't wait to dive into your materials. And I know we're going to get some of those today because yes. I'm seeing them on the couch and I'm really excited about it. Yay. But before we get into that, yeah. let's talk a little bit about your past. Okay. Okay. Not only your past necessarily the victories, but let's talk about some of the stuff you've overcome so our viewers can kind of understand the journey. Okay. Yeah. What do you want to know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go back to teenage years, maybe. Oh, absolutely. That's kind of when it shapes everything. I would say, I would say that my uh, vantage point is the vantage point of uh, wanting intergenerational healing to occur. Oh, I love that word, intergenerational. Yeah, intergenerational. Sustainable. Yeah. Well, yeah, I feel like my narrative, shall yeah. we say, uh, is an international one. I grew up internationally cool. and uh, I grew up with a lot of, uh, you know, family strife, a lot of family strife, a lot of family conflicts that we've all come through, thank mm -hmm. goodness. So being uh, international, you must speak a few languages. I speak some languages. I, sp I lived in Brazil oh, and nice. I, so I speak Portuguese. My mother's Beautiful. Portuguese. I lived in Portugal. My son is half Portuguese. Really? Yeah. Oh, love Portugal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to go, we're gonna go there food. soon. Yeah. Great food, great <laughs> yes. people. Yes, love uh, it. Lived in Portugal, lived in Brazil, love Brazil, love Brazilian music. Oh, yeah. And, and growing up internationally, it's not easy to get to get in there. I mean, you, you, you have to assimilate. You have to uh, become like a chameleon. You have, yes. to, you have to try and fit in. And then if there's issues at home, how do you handle that? So mm -hmm. it's really a test in resiliency. Totally. I would say my life is, a, is, is definitely working to uh, be resilient, teach resiliency, have oh, resiliency. That's a good word. Yeah. My and, word's resourcefulness. And resourcefulness is similar. a similar word. Similar topic, right? And resiliency is, and resourcefulness are all about never give up. Don't that's give up. That's it. Yeah. Don't give up. Keep your eye on the prize. Keep, keep going. That's because it. there's so many good things out there, even when life is tough. Mm -hmm. And life will be tough. And it's to help us grow and to help us develop that muscle. So what gets you up in the morning? I would say that why I've written a couple of books, uh, I've been doing what I do for over 20 years. You're a fantastic and, writer, by the way. I gotta oh, give you thank you. Like yeah, I'm proud of you for getting them out. Thank you so That's much. Great. Yeah, it's a journey. But I would say that the books are really about the first book called "Find Yourself Culture." Why? Yeah. Because I feel like you know, often when I grew up internationally, what's my culture? Is it the country culture, the family culture? Mm -hmm. But what's my culture? And I think that people, when they're suffering from depression and anxiety, they're experiencing a lack of their own. It's not only chemical depression. Mm -hmm. It's a lack of who am I really? Mm -hmm. What makes me tick? So what gets me up in the morning is teaching people to find their self culture nice. and then translating that multi-generationally. Taking so that it they, with you anywhere you go. Correct. And stop, you know, stop the multi-generational patterns of dysfunction, if you can. Yes. Through awareness. I love it. Through rewiring your neural pathways. I love it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's so powerful. Leading by example. Lead by example, absolutely. And if you're aware, I mean, awareness alone can do nothing. Mm -hmm. Be aware, but then activate your awareness action. with action, repetitiveness. Yeah, that's right. Action and repetitiveness. Ask, believe, act, receive. Love it. Love right. it. Even the secret, they forgot that little word act. Act you know? is so important because <laughs> that's what's going to change your neural pathways. Totally. Law of action. Absolutely. And your biology will support change if you repeat, repeat, repeat. That's it. That's it. Now I know you brought that book. Can we see yeah. it? So I'm gonna. So I this is the first book. It. Find yourself culture. I Here love you go. It. Have a check. Oh my yeah, goodness! It's what a great cover. Thank you so much. I Very mean that, good. and that really is Thank about you. chiseling your way through concrete oh, thoughts that no longer. It. Look at yes, that. that's for you. Yes, that's. <laughs> I don't do the punching because I like doing that. <laughs> and anxiety. Yeah. To monumental self acceptance. It's all about that. What's self acceptance to you? Self compassion. Mm -hmm. Self compassion is self acceptance. We are so not often self-compassionate. We are so often hard on ourselves. The inner bully is leading the show. Oh, yeah. And I feel like that is really that self-doubt, self, 
self-deprecation, you know, we're not perfect. I mean, mm. you know, nobody's perfect. But if you, can, if you can be a little bit, turn your inner bully into an inner coach. Totally. You know, you can really transform anything, anything. And when you turn if into when, even more Love powerful. It, which is, you know, yeah. power in action. And then you wrote another book. And then I wrote another book, yes. <laughs> and of course, because if you're finding your self-culture, you are also looking at your relationship culture. Mm -hmm. Like, how do you do marriage? How do you do dating? Mm -hmm. How do you do conflict? Mm -hmm. You know, and so this is, a, a, this is basically a manual on how to navigate dating, pre-marriage, marriage, and healthy divorce, if you Ooh. so happen to go through that. I need one of those. No, you know. <laughs> but it's, uh, All the above. this is also for you and your lovely oh, uh, fiance, oh, yes, and such. yes. <laughs> So connecting, rewire your relationship culture. And it's, it's wild because when, when it really comes down to putting me into one word of what I do, yep. I'm a connector. And you I know are. when they get in and get out. I love just putting people together yeah. and then just you know getting out of the way and letting them and work their magic. Everything and is connecting. I, I, I know. Just, and everything is connected. We're so connected now in the absolutely. world oh, you know, absolutely. As, a, as, a, as, a, as a planet. But I kind of really. want people to connect in a positive, healthy way. And, they yeah. need, and if they don't know how to do it, they're not going to do it well. Totally. So they need to learn how to do it. I, I teach people how to fight in a, in a constructive way because we're all going it's, to, it's, nice. you know, conflict happens. So there needs to be ways Should to. Should we practice? No. no? Okay. <laughs> we're not fighting today. <laughs> but if they want to read the books, they will learn how to deal with loving themselves, but uh, also mm. uh, connecting with others in a, in a way that they can multi-generationally impact the planet in mm. positive ways, which is what really I'm about. Absolutely what I'm about. So I love it. I, think I see you a find small it, stack over there. Oh, yeah, as well. yeah, yeah. This is for your revolver ranch. Oh, come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is for the kids, or you can auction them off, or whatever oh, you want to wow. do. You can make money with them for the for the ranch or give them to the kids to That's inspire so nice them. Of you. Thank Please you. enjoy so for the that. The Reviver yes. Rejuvenation Ranch for at risk youth. Yes. You know, Victoria beautiful. has given us a gift here. Look at this. And we're gonna you know, be filming a movie, a, a full length documentary, maybe what we can do is we can hand some of these out in oh, the that'd movie. Be awesome. You know, wouldn't that be cool? And there's some good Very exercises good. in there for young people and for Thank you. people, uh, adults, you know. So let's talk about your pro-life. Yes. You know, let's talk about professionally. What are you doing? How are you doing it? So I'm in private practice, have been for about 20 years, mm -hmm. and I'm a holistic psychotherapist, meaning mind, body, spirit, also a registered psychotherapist. So I have all the bells and whistles that are needed. There's a lot of letters behind her There's name. A lot I, of I, I didn't mention them earlier, but we got the whole alphabet going on here. That's right. Well, because, you know, I really love education and yeah, I love do. science, but I'm also a very spiritual person. Yeah. And I'm also Eastern based in my philosophies, Buddhism, yeah. uh, Taoism, meditation, yeah. visualization. My website is called visualizationworks.com because why? If you can see it, you can create it. it. Can they find you on there, yeah. Victoria? Like Everything. where do they find you actually? Visualizationworks.com. Everything visualization is there. works with an S? With dot, an S. Dot com. Because why? Visualization works. That's I really bad. feel like we've got to visualize what we want mm -hmm. and then that we can draw vibrationally that to us. I love it. Where do you see Victoria in five years? Well, I'm doing a lot of online programming on the Udemy, uh, Udemy.com platform. platform. It's I'm a great creating platform. creating a program for that myself. Yeah, yeah and I have a, a, about seven yeah. programs up there. One for Airbnb. Awesome. How to do perfect Airbnb. That's right. right? Oh, that's a great. And then that's, that yeah. one for cryptocurrency, how to get involved into the and Bitcoin And you're very space. involved in that. Yeah, I love absolutely. It. It's my baby. The, the stuff that I talk about, and I'm also a keynote speaker, so I, I talk about the stuff on Udemy is for personal transformation. Okay. You know, how to, how to draw boundaries. What is a boundary? Mm -hmm. How to date in an empowered way. How to overcome mm -hmm. procrastination. Mm -hmm. You know, what's your personality style? And then on uh, the personal end, you know, sex is a use it or lose it prospect. So mm -hmm. the whole notion of neural pathways and sexuality. Mm -hmm. And also, you know, how to do uh, relationships in a way that you are experiencing empowerment. Oh, and yeah, it's, and transformation. So mm -hmm. essentially I speak Speak to people, whether you're working in a corporate culture or you're working in the personal culture, it's human relationships. What is the success of your relationship? Why have you had such a successful relationship? 25 years, my beautiful now husband. Now you got to do a fist yeah. pump for that one. <laughs> Very good. 25 years, Kevin yeah, and I yeah, have been yeah. Kevin, together. Kevin, what an amazing photographer. He's oh, a wow. great photographer. He does he, another thank, level. Yeah, he, he exactly. Yeah. It is Very another good. level. It really Very is. Very good. I know he's worked for a lot of different TV stations as well. A lot of TV stations. Yeah, that's great. And he does really incredible work, and I'm so blessed to have him with me shooting my stuff and shooting the, the, the video and the, and the still stuff. So it's really great. And you know what it is about a, a relationship that works? Yeah. I believe, and I know you're in a very loving relationship and committed relationship, yeah. is you know, acceptance of the person as is mm -hmm. and be willing to be vulnerable, 
I love it. And touch each other. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. I have to thank you so, so thank much for you. coming on the show, Victoria. I appreciate that. We're going to have to go do a chai tea sometime. Absolutely. I'd love that. your brain a little bit. I'd love you know, that. Yeah. Psychotherapy styles. This is The Dynamo Show. I am your host, James Zert. I am going to see you after this short commercial break with my next guest. Thank <laughs> you.